Hello dear students. Now let us study the next point that is the functional group in carbon compounds. Before this we have studied the hydrocarbons. Also we have studied the catenation property and the tetravalent property of carbon. Because of this there are maximum number of carbon compounds found in the world. Now many more types of carbon compounds are formed by the formation of bonds of carbon with other elements such as halogens, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur and many more. First thing the catenation, another thing about the hydrocarbons, then the tetravalency and again now next point that is the formation of bond with halogens, oxygen, nitrogen, sulfur, numerous carbon compounds you can get. The atoms of these elements substitute one or more hydrogen atom in the hydrocarbon chain and thereby the tetravalency of carbon is satisfied. It means that whatever the hydrogens are attached, one hydrogen is removed and in place of that hydrogen, the halogen, oxygen, nitrogen or sulfur can be added. In this way, another new compound is formed. The atom of the element which is substitute for hydrogen is referred to as a heteroatom. The meaning of this sentence is when hydrogen is removed and in the place of hydrogen another atom comes, that another atom is called as heteroatom. Sometimes heteroatoms are not alone but exist in the form of certain group or atoms. That is if we say oxygen is the hetero, heteroatom then it may be in the form of OH that is it is in the group that is OH or it may be in the group COOH. So, new compound can be formed. The compound acquires specific chemical property due to these heteroatoms or this group of atoms that contain heteroatoms irrespective of the length and nature of the carbon chain in that compound. If in place of hydrogen another atom comes and join to the group, naturally the properties are going to change and when the properties are changing, new compound is formed. These heteroatoms or the group of the atom containing heteroatom are called functional group. In simple words we can say whatever new is added that is called as the functional group. In place of the replacing hydrogen whatever comes and add to the carbon that is called as functional group. Here the free valency of the functional group is indicated by the short line. Now wherever you find the short line it indicates the free valency of the carbon in a, and in that place of free valency another atom can be joined. The functional group taking place of hydrogen is joined to the carbon atom with this valency. Instead of the hydro instead of the functional groups another point that is the carbon carbon double bond or the carbon carbon triple bond are also they also recognize as the functional group as the respective compounds give specific chemical properties due to them. It means the functional group make new compound and if there is a double bond or the triple bond the chemical properties changes and this also adds in the number of carbon atoms. Here the table shows some of the functional groups. These are the heteroatoms which can be joined. They may be the halogens like chlorine, bromine or iodine or it may be the oxygen or the nitrogen. If halogen is added the name becomes halo that is chromo, bromo or iodo. If the, alcohol, if the oxygen is added, it may be called as alcohol or aldehyde, ketone, carboxylic acid, ether or ester. And if nitrogen is added, the name is amines. The structural formula for the halogens, the X stands for the carbon and the halogen, chlorine, bromine or iodine may be attached. If alcohol is there, then the OH group is attached. If aldehyde is there, then COH group is attached. If ketone is there, CO group may be attached. In case of carboxylic acid, COOH can be attached. If ether is there, then oxygen may be attached. Ester, COO is attached and in place of amines, NH2 can be attached. And these are the condensed structural formula for these structural formula. So these are the functional group. Here we have discussed the functional group in carbon atom and because of this functional group we can find maximum number of carbon atoms, carbon compounds in the world and they all are called as organic compounds and they are very important. The essential or the importance of these are due to the different different properties.